it's nighttime and you're with an audience and the lights go down and you go into a world. And at some point in the 60s, people became cynical and ironic. Midnight movies were the opening wedge in the birth of irony. The very fact that it was playing at midnight was almost a brand name. It was a genre. It sounded forbidden, a midnight movie. It doesn't lie. Write a script, get a crew, do it. It's all an experiment. Uh, the movie, horror, and, uh, and sci-fi. One cinema, one little line, midnight. Midnight movies had to be funny and or shocking in a surprising way, something completely new that you hadn't seen before. Mainstream society hated these movies and was against everything they believed in. No, that's radically different today. Everything that was in Midnight Movies is in Hollywood movies. Everything that Midnight Movies offered has become American humor. what I think. Why would they have a dummy sitting in the window? To scare people. Keeps the robbers away. That's dumb. It wouldn't scare anybody. No. Why don't you go say hello to it? Because it's a man and that's when I don't want to get in trouble. See? It works. You're scared to go. You think it's a dummy? You go.
come in. All ready for bed? Yes, yes sir. Let's see, what shall I have you do for me tonight? Ursula, can you count to ten for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's good. And now, what shall we do with the schoolboy? How about counting backwards by sevens from 100? 100, 93, 86, 79, 72, 66. No, Leon, I'm sorry, that's wrong. You work on it, we'll try it again tomorrow. Good night, children. Good night, sir. case of the flu here, Doctor. Pin, it's very hard to hear a heartbeat when someone is talking. Sorry, Doctor, but I'll wager this boy has a temperature of at least 104. How much would you like to wager? How about a wool sweater? It gets cold sitting here naked all the time. It's a bet. Oh, I'm afraid you're mistaken. 103.2. Would you like to look at it? It's not necessary, Doctor. I trust you. Hmm. Well, Richie, Pin's right about one thing. It's the flu. I just want to do a little blood test. So you come with me. We'll go see Nurse Spaulding. Hi, Pid. Hi, Pin. I'm sorry you didn't win the bet. Maybe if you just ask Father for some clothes, he'd give some to you. If I wore clothes, then no one could see inside me and I wouldn't be any good for teaching anymore. Well, couldn't you take them off when you had to? I couldn't do it myself and it would be too much extra work for the doctor. Well, I could come by and do it for you. You have to go to school. Anyway, we shouldn't be having this conversation. You know the doctor doesn't like me talking to anyone when he's not here. You won't tell him. <clears throat> you go out to the waiting room now. Pin is tired. Bye, Pin. I'm afraid the boy has a few rows in his left lung. Are you concerned about pneumonia? It's crossed my mind. I'll order a chest x-ray. Leon! nothing better to do with my time than clean up after you and your friends. I'll clean it up. Never mind. Is that a friend of yours? The Allison boy. He looks dirty and uh, diseased. 
I don't want you bringing him in this house again. Why don't you just sterilize him at the door? You made me do that, Leon. You, you shouldn't have talked to me that way, Leon! Leon, wake up. We're having a game of school. Want to play? He can't play. He'll get all dirty, right, Leon? What do you say? What a spaz. Let's go. Let's go. The doctor doesn't like me talking to you when he's not here. But couldn't I do it just this once? I don't have any other friends to talk to except you and Ursula. But she's a girl, so it's not the same. You go home, Mary. I'll lock up. I left a mess in the lab. Don't worry about it. I'll see you in the morning. healthy lungs. <laughs> one is from your mother and me, and one is from Pin. Which one's from Pin? The one with the blue paper. Let's see what Pin got you.
This is just the kind of present I'd expect from Pin. God, would you look at this? Do you think I'll ever look like this? If you get caught with that. I won't. Do you think Mother looks like this? Where'd you get that thing anyway? Marsha Bateman. She found it in her brother's closet. You mean she stole it? She'll put it back. You know, Marsha's already growing breasts. Those aren't breasts. That's fat. Marsha's a pig. She happens to be my friend. Your friend's a pig. You know what I wish? I wish Pink could come here and live with us. The father wouldn't let him. He's an office dummy. Don't you ever call him that! He's a stupid dummy! What are you doing in this room? What is that? You're both reaching an age where changes will occur in your attitude towards the opposite sex. The reason is to prepare you to be mothers and fathers. If you didn't become mothers and fathers, there wouldn't be babies and the human race would disappear. Nature can't allow that. So she equips each of us with a biological need to join together and create new life. And that is why just as people get thirsty for water, they get thirsty for sex. Do you have any questions before I continue? Does every single person have a need? If they're normal, they do. Any more questions? All right, let's begin with the male sexual apparatus. Leon, take the towel off my lap. Leon, do it. How did you like Pin's lecture? Oh, Marsha Bateman already told me all that stuff. But not about the need. Do you think Mother and Father ever have the need? They must. We're here, aren't we? So hard to picture. I'll bet you before they do it, Mother washes his penis with spick and span. <laughs> do you ever have the need, Leon? No. I'm not old enough. Can't wait to be old enough. I think I'm really gonna like it.
I should sleep with him. You have to do it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> How many the whole goddamn football team? How many? I'll tell you right now. I don't want a sister who's a tramp. If you ever do it again, you can forget I'm your brother. Calculus is just killing me. I think I'm pregnant. It's been nearly two months since my last period. Promise me you wouldn't do it anymore. I haven't. Leon, count the weeks. It's from before the promise. And what am I going to do? Tell father. No, I can't. You have to. You have to find out for sure if you're pregnant. Oh. I could go to somebody else. There are only six doctors in the whole town. You're 15 years old. You think they're not going to call your father? I can't, Leon. He'd hate me. If you're pregnant, he's gonna find it anyways. You can't hide it. Well, I'll wait. I mean, maybe I'll get it. And maybe you'll wait too long and you won't be able to have an abortion. You want a baby at your age? Let's talk to Pin. Leon, I'm coming to you with the biggest problem of my whole life, and you want me to get advice from a... From what? What? Leon, he won't talk to us. 
You know that he won't talk to us if Father's not there. It's because he's loyal. He, he knows Father doesn't like us talking to him. Why go to him if he won't talk? This is different. A really important decision has to be made here. I can't believe he won't help us. rules and I admire you for being so loyal but Ursula has a decision to make she thinks she's pregnant I think she should tell the doctor she's afraid she she wants to wait she'll do whatever you tell her to do pin please please help her It's no use, Leon. Leon, let's go home. No. I know it'll help us. I'm going. Don't go. Leon is right. The doctor is a truly scientific man. I don't think morality will affect his attitude. You made a mistake, and it must be rectified. Please excuse her, Pen. She's really upset. I understand. I really appreciate your advice. Anytime. You and I have a great deal to talk about. I told you he'd help us. I knew if it was really important that, that he'd talk to us. When did you learn how to do that? Do what? God, it was incredible. T to stand there and, and have him tell me he wants to talk to me. To me. <laughs> What's the matter? No education like the real thing, eh, Pin? After all the time you took explaining sex to them, giving them a better start than I had, where does it get me? A Sunday in the office. Okay, Ursula, on the table. going to observe, Leon? No, sir. Might be educational. And Leon, as far as your mother's concerned, your sister is simply having menstrual problems. There's no point in upsetting her. Frightened? Yes, sir. Good. You won't want to go through this again.
I told you three months ago to do those college applications. I don't appreciate disobedience. Why can't I go to Butler College? Because I want you to get out of this town. I like it here. That's why you should go. It's stifling. Couldn't I wait till the spring semester? No. Frank. Yes? It's getting late. They're expecting us at 8.30. When I get back, I want these applications filled out and ready to be mailed. The medical histories. Damn it! If you go back now, we'll be late. I can't give the speech if I don't have the case histories with me. Leon, go home. Now! Wait. Your mother is sitting outside in the car. I don't want her to see you leave. with the door. What are you doing? I decided to take pin. I can use them for a visual aid. I hate that thing being in the car. It gives me the creeps. Don't worry. It'll only be a one-way trip. I'm leaving him with the society. He'll make a good teaching aid.
It was the curve. Just relax. I am feeling nauseous. Can't you lie it down? I'm driving. You lie it down. Can't touch it. Then just relax. We'll be there soon. Damn it. We're not going to be in time. I would prefer to get there late. more than a week to sublet my apartment and get back here. Well, that won't be necessary, Aunt Dorothy. We'll be fine. Father left us a big estate. Now, I'm not talking about money, Leon. I'm not gonna let my sister's little girl grow up without a woman around. But her slow. Don't argue, Leon. She's a minor and she needs adult supervision. But you have a whole life of your own back in the city. Oh. Don't worry about that. It'd be good for my heart to move out here. Don't feel as if I'm being inconvenienced. I've always loved this house. Now you two be good. See you next week. You know what Mother's doing right now? She's vacuuming heaven. <laughs> and I bet she's telling God to take off his shoes. <laughs> you know what I hate? And tomorrow we can have chicken, and then there's ribs and burgers. We'll never have to cook again. I was one to learn how to cook, but she said I would make too much of a mess. <laughs>
mind. I have three here. Should I should look at? Um, I don't think it's hundreds of years long, but uh, I'm this outside. Father did not want him in the house! Outside! I don't have to be reminded about Father's attitude, and I think it's worthy of you to bring it up in front of Pin. Father's dead. What do you think would happen to Pin if I, if I didn't bring him home? He'd probably be locked in some closet or killed. He's family. More than any stupid Aunt Dorothy. Dorothy's gonna have a fit when she sees him. She won't see him. I'll put him in the attic. I'll keep the door locked. Besides, I don't think Aunt Dorothy will be staying with us for very long. What do you mean? Do you want her here? People don't stay in a place they're not wanted. It might take her a little while to feel the vibrations, but I think she will. Don't worry about anything. Haven't I always taken care of you? Yes. And I always will. Leon, what happened to all the covers on the furniture? I took them off. I hope you didn't throw them away. I stored them. Good. This is very expensive furniture. We don't want it ruined. You know how she is? So much like her sister. They were made from the same mold. She'll have this house ship shape in no time. First the plastic covers will go back, then the fireplace will be sealed shut. It will be just like old times. I wasn't able to find all the plastic covers. Do you know where they are? They're in the attic. Oh, I looked up there, but the door was locked. Somebody lost the key. Oh, well, I'll just call the locksmith in the morning. Don't you like your dinner, Leon? Mm, yeah. I'm sure it's not as good as your mother used to make. It's just as good. Why, thank you. Well, did anything exciting happen today? I got a job at the library. I applied last week and they called today. It's just temporary for now, but if I want, I can have it full time when I graduate. Oh, that's wonderful. You never told me about that. It just happened. Well, what do you need a job for? You have plenty of money. Well, a good job is worth more than money, Leon. It's good for the mental health. You have a problem with your mental health, Ursula? I just want to do it, okay? Are you finished? Just with dinner. She 
is taking over the house. She's changing Ursula. She never kept things from you before. You never had secrets from each other. You had better do something, Leon. Now. Hey. Pink suggestion. He feels I was rude to you. You were rude to Aunt Dorothy. Well, she's gone to bed. I'll apologize in the morning. Friends? doctor as soon as I get to the office. But judging from the medication on her night table, she had a bad ticker. I'm sorry you kids have to go through this. You tell Leon if he still feels sick tomorrow to call me. I will. Everything's gonna be fine. Now you'll have your own room. I like this room, Leon. I hope I won't have to leave it again. No. No, it's yours for good now. Beef stroganoff, and it's delicious. Mm, you're becoming a regular gourmet stuff. I spent three hours in the library tonight, and nobody came in. I'm, people don't read anymore. Uh, let's sit in the living room. I want to see your beef stroganoff. Oh, but it's not ready yet. Well, I'm just going to wash my come hands on, for dinner. Come on, come on, into the living room. Hang on. I want to talk to you.
Well, Ursula, how do you like it? I love it, Pin. I think it's terrific. Do you think the cheeks are too red? I've decided what I want to do with my life. I want to be a writer. Not a hack, but a really worthwhile writer. Like a poet. What do you think? It's fine. Well, you don't sound too excited about it. Do you have a problem with it? No. I have a problem with it. I don't want it sitting at the table. And I don't want it wearing father's clothes. And I don't want it sleeping in You shut up! Where in the hell do these things come from? Mother? Father? From Pin! She's the best friend you've ever had! And for you to treat him the way you just did! The way it happens since he came here is goddamn cruel! I want you to go downstairs right now and apologize to him. Now! No! I am not going to apologize to any stupid shit! No! There are three of us in this house now. If you can't accept that, you can pack your bags and live on the street. Is that what you want? Leon, please. I can't eat when he's at the table. I'll talk to him. If he agrees, you promise to be nicer to him? Yes. Good. Hi. Can I help you? Um, can you tell me where the foreign language section is? Yes, it's the last aisle at the back. Uh, can you tell me the time? <laughs> right. I uh, wasn't looking. Do you remember a guy named Stan Fraker? He was a year ahead of you in school. I think so. What does he look like? He's got light brown hair and hazel eyes. He's kind of athletic looking. A jock. He played basketball. Why'd you ask? He goes to Butler College now. He's been to the library three times this week. I think he's less interested in the books than he is in me.
Does that surprise you? You've turned into a beautiful girl. You're prejudiced. What are you going to do if he asks you out? You haven't dated since the abortion. Don't you get the need anymore? Sometimes. I tried to call you earlier. I was, um, I was at the stationery store. Hi, I'm Stan Fraker. I'm sorry. Leon, this is Stan. I don't know if you remember me. No. No, I, uh, I don't. The reason I called earlier was because um, Stan has invited me out for dinner. I took steaks out of the freezer. Save them for tomorrow night, OK? I won't be late, okay? Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Kind of quiet guy. Things all right. It was just uh, him and me after my mom died. So we spent a lot of time together. It was a good time, you know, um, fishing and uh, hiking, stuff like that. And you must really miss him. Yeah. Sometimes uh, I forget he's dead. Uh, I catch myself about to dial his number. <laughs> Stuffed? No, I'm just resting. Yeah, you sure you don't want to try this? No. Then we'd really be late for the movie. What time is it? It's ten after eight. Oh, you're kidding. We have five minutes. Frightened me. I thought you were pin. Why should pin frighten you? I don't know. I was just startled. I thought you were going to be home early. It's just midnight. It's hardly early. I was having such a good time. He's so sensitive. He's taking phys ed, but he's interested in traveling and he's even studying foreign languages on his own. I think you two could be really good friends. I told him about your poetry. He's real interested. My poetry's private. Any guy who keeps a girl out this late when she has to work in the morning is hardly sensitive. Let me tell you something. I like him. And I'm going out with him again.
since my parents died, I've been busy with the house and, and the finances and, um, and looking after Ursula. But um, we can talk about all that on Saturday night. What's a good time for you then? Good, I'll, um, I'll see you then. I don't understand why you're doing this, Leon. I have the need. <laughs> Marsha Bateman. Isn't your need prompted by your sisters? What makes you think Ursula has the need? She's going out with an attractive young man. Aren't you feeling resentful? No. Not even a little? I don't want to talk about it. Got um stopwatch and um, an alarm and it and it beeps on the hour. Getting undressed. What? I thought I heard some. I didn't hear anything. It might have been Pin. Who's Pin? He's a friend who's staying with us. Well, he wouldn't just walk in on us now, would he? He's done it before. Well, tell him not to. Uh, I can't. Just put a chair under the doorknob. Just knowing he's in the, in the same house bothers me. I'm sorry. You know what I think? I think you're full of shit. God. I must be crazy to be here tonight. You know, I told my brother I was coming here tonight and he laughed. And I defended you. Boy, was I dumb. Excuse me. I have to see about Pin.
Okay, this is not funny. Leon! Well, how was your date last night? Fine. Just fine? Is he worth going out with? I like him very much. Pin and I had a little chat. He feels that I was um, too protective of you. I don't even know this guy, and I should, so... Uh... So I want you to invite him over to the house for, for dinner? Couldn't we go out for dinner? What's wrong? You don't like my cooking? It's not that. What then? I thought we could have some drinks. I'll make um, cocoa van wild rice. Well, doesn't that sound like a great evening? I don't think that Stan is ready to meet Pin. Well, sooner or later, he'll have to meet Pin. Hello, Stan. Hi, Leon. How are you doing? Are those chocolates? Yeah. Oh, great. Pin loves them. Food smells great. Oh, I think there's a problem with the rice. Ursula, can you do me a favor? Can you run into the kitchen and turn down the heat? I'll introduce Stan to Pin. Go on before it burns.
some house. Come on. Take off your coat and make yourself home. Sure. Stan, I'd like you to meet Pin. Hello, Stan. It's nice to meet you, Pin. Uh, I've heard a lot about you. I didn't know you liked chocolates until just now. Um, luckily, I brought some with me. It's very nice to meet you, and thank you so much for the chocolates. You're welcome. Ursula told you about me. Yeah, and uh, how she named you Pinocchio when she was three years old, and uh, your nose never grew because you never told a lie. Leo, the rice is fine. Would you like me to show you the house, Dan? Sure. <clears throat> I'll see you later, Pin. You okay? Oh, please. Don't. Just hold me for a minute. Don't say anything. So after we won the game, we all go piling into the locker room. We wait for the coach to come in. When he comes in, we grab him and throw him in the showers. He gets really P.O.'d. He grabs this kid and he nails him. Funny thing is, we win the championship and he loses his job. <laughs> Leon, you're not eating. I lost my appetite. That's probably one of those occupational hazards with chefs. This meal is really delicious. You know, you could probably become one of those um, cordon bleu chefs. This is my avocation. My vocation is writing. Ursula told me. I really like to hear some of your poetry. Oh, yes, Leon, please. You really have to hear it. It's wonderful. After dinner, okay? Well, I suppose I should, um... I should preface this by telling you my hero, uh, Testes, uh, a sort of modern-day Beowulf, is out to... to gain immortality um, by creating as much progeny as he can. Uh, sorry. He'll make love to any woman in the hopes of, um, impregnating her. At this point, he's fathered, um, 173 children. Quite a potent guy. Um, in these lines, he's contemplating rape for the first time. closer she came to him, moving. It seemed in silent motion. His heart beat steadily within the caverns of his bosom, driving hot blood thick down, down into the depths of his loins. He lunged from the deepest, darkest passions in us all. She turned without a sound and faced him. He stopped abruptly. It was as if a knife had performed an instant castration. He was looking into the eyes of his sister. You realize that outside of you and Ursula, he's the first person to hear my poetry, and he genuinely liked it. Be careful. You know you have a tendency toward blind optimism. I'd love to sit and argue, Pin, but um, I'd like to get downstairs, if that's okay with you. need psychiatric help. I can't do that. You have to. He, he really believes that that thing is a person. Doesn't he realize he's using ventriloquism? He's not hurting anyone. He can just go on living here and writing his poetry. His poetry is sick. He's talking about raping his sister. <laughs> 
It's just a poem. Is it? Would you uh, like another drink, Stan? Thank you. Leon, would you like another drink? I'm not feeling very well. If you, if you too, excuse me, I'll go to bed. Good night. I don't know what's going on here. I've read every psychiatric text in the library. Leon is a paranoid schizophrenic. No one is ever going to cure him of that. But he's my brother. And I love him. See that? And I will not see him put away in an institution. person now look what's happened he's turning her against us you must act leon before we lose her <gasps> to me that you two like each other. What if we didn't like each other? Well, I don't want to think about that. What if I told you I didn't like him? But you do. You read him your poetry. What if I hate him? What would you do? Who would you choose? Leon, don't tease me. Don't put me in the middle, OK? I'm late for work. I'm going to go now. Don't make me any dinner. I'm going out with Stan. Ursula. I like him. Serious? Serious. Que je veux au théâtre. Hello. Stan, it's Leon. Hey, Leon. Great dinner last night. Thanks. Listen, I, Ursula's birthday's in two weeks' time, and I want to throw a surprise party. How would you feel about helping me? Yeah, absolutely. Do you think you could come over here so we could discuss it? Mm, sure, anytime. The sooner the better. How about an hour? Remember, it's a surprise. I gotcha. Gotcha. Sit down. Um, can I get you a drink? I think I had enough last night, thanks. Uh, come on, I hardly ever have people around for drinks. Scott? Sure. Hello, Ben. Good afternoon, Stan. It's nice to see you again. Did you enjoy the chocolates? Very much, thank you. Oh, you could hear me? I'm, I'm 
sorry. I thought I was doing it in my head. Well, you don't seem to be doing anything else with your head today. It must be love. Would you like to leave early today? Um. Finish up this cart. And then put those new cartons away. And you can go. Thank you. I have a soft spot for girls in love. <laughs> I figure at this moment... First is worth close to uh, seven hundred thousand dollars. Uh, I uh, uh, never knew. She doesn't know. She doesn't need to know. You see, um, Pin and I have always looked after her, but uh, sometimes she's a little insensitive. Sometimes she. Uh, forgets who her true friends are. But, um... We still love her. We still care about... where she goes. Who she's with. Are you tired, Stan? I guess it was the late night. I guess it was. All the energy you expended plotting against Pin and me. Wanting to put me in a mental institute. Maybe even counting Ursula's money in your dreams. something from your mother get the sack put the body in it take it to the river hide his car and then come back and clean up the mess in the yard. Guess what? Mrs. Schaefer's giving me the afternoon off early. Um, do you want to do something? No. I'm, I'm working on poetry. Well, 
I can't find Stan, so I guess I'll just come home. No. <laughs> That's crazy. It's, it's a nice day. Uh, don't waste it around here. I'm, I'm too busy to keep you company, so um, go shopping or something. I'll see. Maybe. I'll talk to you later. Ursula's coming home early. We don't have time to put the body in the river. What am I gonna do? Hide him in the wood pile. Leon, hide the body and come back and clean up the blood. smell? Paros. Um, Stan called. He's um, canceling a date. Why? Uh, something about a sick friend. He was in a hurry, so I didn't ask questions. Why didn't you call me at the library? Perhaps you'd already left? All he said was to um, tell her so that he could make the date tonight. He, um, a friend was sick. Hey, is it so terrible to spend an evening with me? I'm sorry. Um, I have, um, uh, pot roast and uh, carrots, potatoes and, um, Caesar salad. And then for dessert, this. Well, you've been very busy. Remember Thursday nights? We always used to have pot roast on Thursday nights. Father loved pot. Father loved pot roast. I think. I think that was his favorite food. You're not eating. I had a big lunch. Is Dan supposed to take you out for celery sticks? a little worried about him. I thought you loved this guy. I do. So why don't you trust him? You realize you're behaving as though you think he's cheating on you. I am not behaving that way. And I do trust him. Good. So relax. You're used to us.
Our Father, we turn over in his grave to see us drinking. He hated that. And now Mother will turn over with him. It's not funny. You used to have a great sense of humor about mother and father. I remember that the house was always neat and clean. And that dinner was always on time and tasted good. And that father would ask me a question at bedtime. And give me a kiss on the cheek whether I answered it right. What's wrong? Nothing. How do you how do you feel about dessert? Maybe later. I wrote a new stanza this morning. You want to hear it? Sure. Good. You take the wine into the um, living room and I'll get my poetry. Are you hiding? What have you done? What have you done? It was Pin. Pin did it. No! Stop it! I wasn't even here when it happened. I, I was out no. shopping. I got back late. No. Stan was, no. he was in a terrible argument with no. Pin. He said something about you that Pin didn't like. Stan was furious. They started fighting. He, he hit his head on the mantle. He was dead before I got here. Stop it! No! It was an accident, but, but I was afraid. I, I was scared they'd take Pin away. I couldn't let him do that. I know you couldn't either. Stop it! I saw wait! Why didn't you help me? I have never lied to you or for you. I want you to. I need you to. I don't know how, and neither do you, and that's why you do it so badly. What am I gonna do? We did it for Ursula. You're lying again, Leon. We didn't do it for Ursula. We did it for you. Thank you.
Yankees here. Jesus Christ, he's alive. Mrs. Fraker, I didn't hear you come in. Mind just stop by for a minute? You go ahead. I'll be downstairs if you need me. Thank you. Hello, Ben. Stan and I are on our way to Cape Cod for vacation. I will be gone about a week. Is there anything you'd like? Wind the music box. Have you heard from Leon? No. I miss him a great deal. So do I. 